Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love connection reading for the for October. This is Mary, a Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box for all the information you need. Tons and tons of stuff there, so please do go check that out. Thank you to everybody for your support, supporting the channel. Really means a lot to me, so I just want to thank everybody for their support and growing the channel, being a part of that, and getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them. Um, if this doesn't resonate for you, you can check the description box below for past Aquarius playlists. Maybe something there will resonate for you. I would say disregard the dates on them, and if something um, catches your eye, I would say watch it anyway. And if you do like my style and how I read and I resonate with you, uh, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I do love to read the comments. Um, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. They're all different for all the signs, so don't miss out on that. And if you do, thank you so much. Okay, so this is for Aquarius. Love and connection reading. Now, this can be for any type of connection for whoever you have in mind. Could be somebody you're married from, married with, living with, dating, um, separated from. If you were together, now you're separated and you may or may not come back together. You could have a crush on somebody whatever your situation, but they have to have some sort of mutual connection with you. You just can't like somebody from afar and they have no clue who you are. So um, it has to be an actual connection in some way, shape, or form with another person. And we'll see what we get here. And hopefully it resonates for you. If you clicked on the title, then uh, something probably resonated for you in the title. So you take what resonates, throw, the way the re throw away the rest, flip-flop the energies any way you see fit. All right, not every single part of every single reading will resonate with every single person, so please keep that in mind. All right, Aquarius. This is a zodiac oracle, so we can get a uh, planet sign element if you don't resonate with what with comes out here. Taurus again, wow. I just had this pop out in your general reading. I just did your general reading, and Taurus came out, and now it's coming out again in your love connection reading. So some of you definitely could be dealing with a Taurus here. All right. So let's get a overall love connection energy between you and your person. And then we'll get one for you, one for them. How you're both feeling towards each other and the connection. All right. So let's get an overall love connection energy for Aquarius, for October and their person. What do they have in mind right now while you're watching this? One card spirit, please. Thank you. Oh, we have the roses. This could be offers of affection. This could be an offer, an invite, affection of love, a love letter, a gift, peace, harmony. Oh, and then you got nine there. And nines are, you know, about wish fulfillment. It has several different meanings. Um, and then you get the Queen of Spades there, the Queen of Swords, and that's your energy, Libra, Gem Libra Gemini, Aquarius. So, huh? So I don't know. Something uh, for some of you, it can be a different things. It could be a gift. You know, you receive flowers and an invite out um, for a date or something like that. It could be an apology. It could be just a gift, a token of love and affection. Hmm. Queen of Swords down there. It's all about truth, clarity, communication, um, and that sort of energy. All right. So this could bring in peace, harmony with the roses. That is a symbol of love right there. All right. So let's get one for you, one for your person. I'll put you on this side and I'll put your person here. But if you feel like they could be switched, then please do that. Okay, one for Aquarius. How are they feeling about their person in this connection? The sun. And then one for Taurus and how they're feeling about, or it doesn't have to be Taurus, I'm sorry. It could be anybody. Um, oh, okay. So we have the sun here for your energy, Aquarius. So this is happiness, joy, success, victory, everything positive with the sun. Three and one, four is about stability. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is 
uh, a brand new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles down there, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. A stable beginning, building long-term, long-term stability, structure, foundation, abundance, growth, expansion, everything positive with the sun energy, a lot of happiness, joy, success, victory, growth, abundance, everything you can think of positive with the sun. So that could be your energy or your person's energy. But over here we have um, adjacent possibilities. So number 22, let me just look that up really quick. I do believe that's um, adjacent possibilities, but we'll see here. Oh, choice. Decisions and choices are what I offer. Alternate directions are what I augur. Augur? I don't know even what that word is. I speak in multiple in... I speak in multiple and double, and when I'm in a relationship, I might be trouble. Hmm. So I think you feel like you want you want this with your person, but they're they may be un, indecisive, like looking at another option here. Oh, this could be your energy, but the Queen of Pentacles there that is the Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Twenty two, two is about unity, and then two two four again is about the stability and foundation. So. They be, may be trying to make a choice uh, here on what to do, if they want this with you or not. Let's see what's on the top. So some of you may have children um, with this person, or it's a very childlike energy, uh, very fun, enthusiastic, childlike type of energy. And then we have the Knight of Swords down at the bottom there. And then we have 13-4 again with stability. So uh, the Knight of Swords there, or I don't know if it's the Knight or the uh, Page of Swords at the bottom. I think it's the Knight. Um, again, rushes in with truth, clarity, kind of a reckless energy sometimes. Let's see what's on the bottom. So we have, looks like the Tomb. So this is... Definitely reminds me of the Four of Swords type of energy where, um, or that could be a coffin. I'm not sure. Let me look and see what that is. Number eight. Uh, coffin. Yeah, I am painful change and transition. You will feel, feel me through your body, your mind, certainly your wallet. Depression, loss, bankruptcy are my specialties. I am sickness and bed rest. I am all endings and sometimes death. Okay, so... And then we have eight there, which is about taking action, movement. Nine of Pentacles is a single energy here. Uh, you know, abundant, secure, stable kind of energy, being independent. So, wow, it's kind of like mixed energy here. So, hmm. So this side here wants happiness, joy, success. And the overall energy is this love and peace and harmony invites you know and that sort of thing but then this person over here is trying to make a choice whether or not to accept this and some of you may have a child or this person you're dealing with could be childish so that could be this energy of like maybe you know i just want to end this because it's too much of a childish type of energy maybe they come in with flowers to apologize you know with their actions of being immature or childish. Hmm. You know, maybe it was very happy at one time with the sun energy there. I don't know. So we'll see. Let's get into the tarot. A lot of mixed um, messages here because the flowers, the roses, and the sun are very positive. But then you hear, have that there of, you know, choice, making a choice. And then the ending with the coffin. And then children. So our childish immature behavior and that could be that reckless energy with the um knight of swords on the bottom there so while we have the nine of pentacles again coming in under your energy here so all right let's get one for your person now or the other side whatever side you're resonating with Ten of Pentacles. Wow, so we got the Nine and Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So I feel like this person over here, uh, 
does want long term with you with the Ten of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is a long term commitment. This is, you know, the family, the legacy, dynasty, children, grandchildren, grandparents, um, being abundant, sharing everything together. That's like the marriage card. But you have a single energy here with the Nine of Pentacles being very independent. So I think this person is choosing you and they want you for the long term. And it's like, you're thinking, well, I don't know. I think my true happiness is, is going to be if I go off on my own here. I may want to like just end this and uh, just be single. And that's my true happiness with the sun energy there. And they be, may be coming in with flowers and roses, you know. I don't know. Let's get more clarity here. Strength. And the Two of Cups. So <laughs> I think you're a very strong-willed person here. This is Leo energy. It doesn't have to be. Very strong, brave, courageous. Um, has a lot of willpower, stamina. Uh, taming of the beast from within. So I feel like you're a very strong-willed person. It's like, you know what you want. It's like, I think maybe I'd be better off single. But they definitely want the Two of Cups with you, soulmate union here, two people coming together as one, as soulmate energy there. So I'm feeling like they've made the choice. They see you as a soulmate. They want that union with you. They want you for the long term. But you got this energy of like, I'm very strong-willed and I'm fiery. And you're just looking at that offer like you have your back to that, looking at that offer like, eh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just be single. All right. So let's get the Three of Cups. Your actual situation for you, Aquarius. So yeah, I just said very fiery, passionate, determined. Now we've got the Queen of Wands. That's that fiery, passionate energy. You've got a fire in your chart. This is fire at Leo Sag Aries. And it's right in the middle of your spread. Uh, but we've got the Three of Cups here too. I mean, this could speak of a third party. Three of Cups. I mean, Three of Cups to me doesn't usually represent um, third party. I take it as... Um, getting together with friends, family, reuniting, coming back together, having good times. But now we have justice here, which is Libra. This could be something in the justice department or bringing justice into the situation in some way, shape or form by balancing out the scales, having open, open honest, truthful communication, um, and just bringing, serving justice in this whole situation. So, it's like looking and seeing and all knowing with the eyes lit up there. So it could be for some of you finding out that this person had a third party, perhaps. Maybe that was the choices there. Maybe they made a choice or made choices that um, were bad choices. And maybe that resulted in a child. You, find, you know, they found out, you found out that they had a child elsewhere. So that could be why you're ending it here. I, I don't know. Let's. There could be a message for some of you. Some of you, um, I don't know. Let's get more clarifiers here for this situation for Aquarius. So now we've got the King of Swords and the High Priestess. So and that's your energy. You know, male, female, doesn't matter. Uh, and this is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So it's like, see the hawk there, like, Hawk's eye view, like, really sees all the details there. And there's the sword, like, I'm not afraid to use it. Cutting out things no longer serving. Um, open, honest, truthful communication. Telling it like it is, not taking any BS, standing up for yourself. And the high priestess, like, knowing, like, knowing things, but not really saying anything. It's like, I know what's going on, but you know what? I'm keeping it to myself. I want to catch them in the act. Um very intuitive, connected to source, following your gut and intuition. And that's on their side too. So, I mean, they could also had secrets too, possibly that you found out about. So I 
feel like this person made some bad choices and now they realize they just want you, but they're bad choices and maybe this is being involved with somebody else, maybe resulted in a child. Now they're coming in with an apology with roses, say, well, I only want you. You know, you're my soulmate. I love you. You're my happiness, joy. You're my son. And maybe they did bring you happiness and joy at one time at the beginning, but now you're like turning your back to them. Like, no, no, I'm putting up my sword here. I know about the third party. I'm a very fiery, passionate person. Or they could have been involved with a fire sign. And now everything is out with the justice. And now justice will be served in this situation for some of you. Huh. All right. So let's get your advice, Aquarius. Let's get your advice. All right, so we have the Two of Swords. So this is uh, needing to make a decision here. So I feel like you need to make a decision about this. You may feel indecisive and not sure about things. That's your energy. And now you've got the Six of Pentacles. So this is balance, you know, things balancing out, and it's right under the justice. So you need to decide on what will work for you that will bring you the balance that you need. So... Yeah, and it's right under justice too, which is about balancing out the scale. So you need to do what's right for you. You need to make a decision. And now he has the Prince of Swords, which I believe is the... Um, I'm not sure if that's the Knight. I think that's the Knight of Swords. Because this deck has different wording, so I think... I think that's the knight. I think these this deck has prince, prince and princesses. Sorry, I'm just I just want to be sure. Oh, and I use this deck often, but you know what? Sometimes you have a brain fart, and it just happens that way. So yeah, so that's the uh, knight, knight of swords. So it's like you're gonna take action now, doing what's best for you. So your your advice is to make that decision to do what's best for you that will bring you balance and taking that action and using that sword if you have to, having open, honest communication. And I thought I had another one. What did I do with it? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so let's get another one um, for your advice. The five of swords. So yeah, <laughs> no, this is an energy of being very egotistical, um, self-centered, selfish, doing whatever you want. You really don't care about anything else around you, defeated all the costs. So I definitely feel like this person was doing what they were doing and they really didn't care at the time. Uh, but I do feel like here you, they got caught by you and now, you know, they come in flowers apologizing, but lo and behold, now there's a child involved, whether you have a child with this person or they got somebody else pregnant whatever here, but I don't know. Let's see what your outcome may be. The King of Pentacles. So this is their energy if you are dealing with an earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So, I mean, they may come in here uh, with this offer and looking very, um, you know, charming and strong and dependable and stable and grounded and feeling like they can secure this down, lock this down with this offer, or lock you down. But I don't know, will you accept it? After all this, will you accept this? Will you accept this pentacle from this person as your outcome? You have the Ten of Cups. Well, you might. And the Two of Wands. So... This is happiness, joy, success, um, fulfillment in every single way. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You know, this is love and emotional fulfillment in every single way. Happiness and joy. And then you've got the two of wands. So this is making uh, plans, decisions for the future. Usually two people together. Or it can be a single energy. This is does represent a single energy here. But, you know, making plans for the future um, going forward. So... You may accept this pentacle, or you may not. Some of you might, some of you may not. 
because we do have them in your outcome as their energy as your outcome. So I don't know. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we got the nine of cups. So this is again, wish fulfillment, happiness, joy, um, which is coming true. The nine of cups energy, but then you got the five of cups, which is sorrow, loss, hurt, sadness, but now you have the king of cups. So this is, you know, someone who's very loving, who is in love, has love, emotions, feelings. Case of Scorpio Pisces, three of pentacles working together, teamwork, collaboration, three of swords. So there's that heartache, pain, possible third party. And now the princess of swords, which is that communication, open, honest, truthful communication. But then you got the sun again which is growth, abundance, happiness, joy, happy home and family, enlightenment, healing energy. So, and the star for the healing, again, which is your energy, Aquarius, healing, faith, hope, optimism, wishes, dreams coming true, divinely guided star energy. So I feel like you guys may work this out and heal everything and have your abundance, happiness, joy. If you do have a, ch a child with this person, um, you may mend things and come back together and have open, honest, truthful communication over this third party incident that happened because you got three again, you know, and working together, you know, being very loving, sharing, giving, even though this has been hurt in the past, now there's happiness, joy, and wish fulfillment. So some of you may, I mean, they may come back and at first you may be like, no, nope, I'm done. But uh, then you may decide to give them another chance. So some of you may be walking away. Some of you may be giving them another chance. That's what I see. Some of you have a child with this person. Some of you, your person has gotten somebody else with child. So some of you may end it or some of you may work it out. So a couple different storylines there. So whatever one uh, resonates for you. But I do see um, if you decide to work it out, that things will be healed. There'll be a lot of wish fulfillment, happiness, joy. Those that walk away, I think in the future, you will find your happiness and joy and wish fulfillment elsewhere. All right, so let's get more energy here for you, Aquarius. Love for October. What do we have for Aquarius spirit, please? We have Our Lady of Secret, uh, Sacred Hearth, which is one, which is a brand new beginning. So some of you may have a brand new beginning on your own or with this person in the hearth. is sort of like, um, let me just get the book. I can explain it better than I can. Uh, let's see. It's your home, uh, grace, security, um, Never feel lost and abandoned. It's a home to return to. Uh, so it's like a place that you can always return to. So this person may be the person, you know, returning to this person, returning to each other and having a brand new uh, beginning with one another. Our Lady of Divine Presence. So this could be, you know, a divine union here. 14.5 change so things could change and this could be you know divine helping the two of you to heal mend work it out have that happiness joy wish fulfillment and coming you know going forward all right let's see if there's anything else for you aquarius our lady is so i've been getting this a lot five again with the change so there definitely could be soulmates here soulmate birth you know uh healing the souls birthing of a new like soulmate union between the two of you being open honest with one another i mean true to one another and then on the bottom we have our lady of the whispering heart here and that is number two again you know twos are about unity so let me just see what that has to say, uh, just really quickly. Um, tsh, 
So this is the Mother Mary Oracle. So it speaks as if Mother Mary is speaking to you. So it says, I want to be close to you, my cherished child. I, so I dwell within your heart from that sacred place. I speak to you daily. Can you feel my presence? I am the voice within that assures you all is, as well. I am feeling, feeling in your heart. I am the feeling in your heart that tells you it's all right to trust no matter what appears to be. I am the knowing in your heart that every prayer you speak is heard and answered by me instantly. I am the joy and relief in your heart as you re realize that your answered prayers are already unfolding in divine perfection. Listen for me and know peace within. So, so I think, you know, you will have wish fulfillment if you decide to work it out with this person. And uh, divine here is really playing a part in this to uh, help you to work it out, heal, mend, and move forward. And again, some of you may not. So however this resonates for you. Good luck to you, Aquarius, in this situation. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, with my channels to always, always shine your lights.